Hi, it's me, Jeannie. Today's topic is if you want to be a Christian singer. And um, some things I want to say about this is like pretty much simple, but just something that um, some people just don't do sometimes. I think it's Nick Flinner. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, yeah, um, one of the first things I think that someone should do if they want to be a Christian singer, if that's what they believe that God wants them to be, is, um, I think they sh that they should pray about it. You know, like I usually say, pray about it first to see if it's really God's will, um, uh, before doing something that's, like, really, like, a big deal, and, um, yeah, pray about it. If you're old enough or grown up, you can confess about it. Um, first, see if you have the gift to do singing. Like, um, you know, you can go somewhere and sing and see if your voice sounds nice at home, you know, around friends and family first, and go from there. Um, yeah, I think that, let me move the camera also. Yeah, I think that, um, I don't know why it's making me look, okay. Let me move the camera. Okay. Um, yeah, but if you want to be a Christian singer, I think that you should pray about it, fast about it. Go to some family, friends. Or, you know, some people from the church, like a small group, and they think you actually sing before just going out and, like, in front of larger groups of people and singing. Because first, like, you want to see if your voice is, like, you know, really nice to, like, actually become a Christian singer. I mean, yeah, of course, like, everybody can just sing in church for like testimony service or something but like if you're talking about like going out doing concerts making cds and stuff like that you want to make sure your voice is like right for that but if it's not not um the way that you want it to be it you probably should take some classes like even if you just sing at home with your family or some friends that you know Take some classes singing, um, you know, practicing. If you can't afford a coach, like, just practice with someone you know singing. And, um, you know, make sure your voice is clear. So that would probably take you um, to, like, thinking about your diet. Like, are you eating fruits and vegetables? Because fruit and vegetables can help your voice to sound really clear. Um, and actually lemon juice, like, that's really good for your voice, your voice. So, yeah, lemon juice and, um, you know, you need to stay in shape healthy, like, I heard that that's good for your voice. And another thing, if you're a, if you're trying to become a Christian singer, I want to say, I know I talk about clothes a lot. This is what I talk about on here a lot. Like, makeup and clothes and stuff. Um, or at least sometimes I talk about clothes. Not a lot, lot, but I talk about how to dress appropriately sometimes. Because, yeah, um, it's part of fashion too, I think. So, yeah. But anyways, um, if you're becoming a, a Christian singer... Um, I would advise that you don't go into trying to become a Christian singer and wearing clothes like someone from a secular um, group, like, you know, like ordinary singers that you see on TV. Because Christian singers usually try to dress appropriately, and if not, they might get a little bit of, like, you know, comments about how they dress, like, a little. 
So, yeah, you probably don't want to dress inappropriately. And, um, you know, another thing, try to make your songs and the way you sing unique. Don't try to make it like a circular type of song. I mean, you can, whatever you do, if it's rap, country, rock, gospel, whatever type of music you're doing, do it, but just try to make it like unique. Make sure you're letting it be like the way God wants it to be and make sure that you're expressing it like who you are through your music as well, or like how you sing. But yeah, most of all, make sure that God is like in your music. Like, make sure people know that you're a Christian, I'm trying to say, and not just like a regular, secular type of singer or whatever. But, um, yeah, basically, um, yeah, and another thing, um, yeah, I'm sorry for saying basically, but yeah, another thing is you want to make sure that you're right, but, um, trying to become a Christian singer because you don't want to just start doing it if your confidence isn't high enough and you're unsure about it and you never even prayed about it or any you know, of that. So yeah, you want to make sure that you're tough enough to be able to like go different places and sing and hear people comments about how you sing. Some people might only like how you sing in the beginning and stuff like that. So yeah, you have to make sure that you're able to like take all of that and not be affected like in a bad way. And yeah, and don't get caught up in like the wrong situations like with drinking and partying and turning to secular music if God called you to be a Christian singer, you know, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, that's all I want to, want to say about this topic, and I hope that you have a good day. You can email me, inbox me, subscribe, or comment. Talk to you later. Bye.